Dedication To His Magnificence Lorenzo di Piero de' Medici Those who try to win the favor of a prince usually come to him with things that they regard as most precious, or that they see him take most pleasure in, so we often we often see princes being presented with horses, arms, cloth of gold, precious stones, and similar ornaments that are worthy of their greatness. Wanting to present myself to your magnificence with some testimony of my devotion towards you, the possession of mine that I love best and value most is my knowledge of the actions of great men, knowledge that I have acquired from long experience in contemporary affairs and from a continual study of antiquity. Having reflected on it long and hard, I now send it, digested into a little volume, to your magnificence. Without being sure that this work is worthy of being presented to you, I am trusting that you will be kind enough to find it acceptable, seeing that I can't give you anything better than the opportunity to get a grasp, quickly, of everything that it has taken me so many difficult and dangerous years to learn. Many writers decorate their work, choke their work, with smoothly sweeping sentences, pompous words, and other attractions that are irrelevant to the matter in hand, but I haven't done any of that, because I have wanted this work of mine to be given only such respect as it can get from the importance of its topic and the truth of what it says about it. Some people think it would be presumptuous for a man whose status is low to discuss the concerns of princes and give them rules for how to behave, but I don't agree. A landscape painter will place himself on the plain in order to get a good view of the mountains and on a mountain in order to get a good view of the plain. So also, to understand the nature of the people one needs to be a prince and to understand the nature of princes one needs to be of the people. Take then this little gift in the spirit in which I send it. If you read and think about it, you'll see how greatly I want you to achieve that greatness which fortune and your other attributes promise. And if your magnificence, from the mountaintop of your greatness will sometimes look down at this plain, you will see how little I deserve the wretched ill fortune that continually pursues me.